Apocalypse. What is up, guys and gals? Space Unicorn here, bringing you some hot frag action. So, today, we're going to go over something, and it's going to be the next part of the Relearning Frag series, and that part is going to be how to build a winning composition. So, with that being said, we're going to hop in here, and we are going to go through how I build a deck if I want to be successful and win matches. So, first thing you need to do anytime you're going to build a deck is understand what cards are going to be the most effective for you? So, right now, <coughs> Lucha is meta. I always like to have a Lucha in my lineup. One second, got a cough. <coughs> there we go. I always like to have a Lucha in my lineup. Um, reason being, he's just that tank. He's that huge amount of health that allows me to run some squishier characters on the backside. So I always want to have a Lucha. If you're not running Lucha, you're going to be losing matches. All right, so let's see here. Now, the next thing that goes into learning how to build your lineup for a successful team composition is knowing what cards are strong right now. So right now, we know Andro is very strong. So let's put her in there. Next thing we need to know is we need to figure out a happy balance between attack, defense, and and some cards that are going to do a little bit of both. So for now, what I like to do personally is I like to run a 3-2. So three attack, two defensive styled cards. So right now, Fragman actually is incredibly powerful. So we're going to sneak him in there. If you guys haven't tried Fragman since the last buff, you guys need to do it. I'm just going to say. Now, I like the boss pick for the defensive end. But I also would like to put a Soldier Tron in there. As a defensive character, it gives me a little bit of range of versatility. This is something you have to have. It enables you to constantly put pressure from your defensive side of your field. There are not many defensive cards in the game anymore that allow you to do that. So let's see if we can find Soldier Tron and we're going to sneak him in there. There's the toy soldier. Boom. So right now, this lineup, I would feel confident going into a match. Let's hop into some matches and let's see how we do. Barring any DCs. <laughs> Alright, so the first one's against a bot. So we're going to run this one through real quick. And we're going to get a feel for a couple new of these cards. We're going to demonstrate Fragman for you since the update. So, Fraggity Man. This card got a really nice update, which I'll demonstrate for you here momentarily. So, he's able to move... Man, I, he's so precise, guys. As you guys just saw, huge damage. And he's pinpoint accurate now. There are not many cards that are going to do this. He's basically JB with his fire rate, but on steroids. And there we go, another one down. Now, I have not really put his down talent, but you can see from the tower damage, he's not great at it. Um, another British whoop, hold on, Polka's sneaking up. Alright. Oh, you dirty freaking prisoner 99. <laughs> yes, you can shoot through the walls of Fragman now. The addition to the ability for his alt to move was gigantic, and the slight tweak they made to his primary fire is so good, it's not even funny. This card has quickly snuck up and for a precise player who like well pretty much is a precise player this card's going to be nightmarish anyways let's hop into another match and let's see if we can get a real person and let's see if my deck that i built is capable of winning i'm just kidding i know it's capable of winning i built it what are you talking about <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but yeah, so like I said, these are the things you consider whenever you make a deck. You have to figure out if you what type of style of play you are, if you're going to be aggressive, if you're going to be more neutral. It just all depends. Sorry about the connecting to server thing. This seems to be the issue with the servers right now. There we go. And let's find an opponent. Mm -hmm. 
Alrighty guys, guys, we finally found a real player. Let's see if he can hold up to the deck that I built. Now, this lineup that I'm running, it's not exactly meta, but it is good, and it can be used efficiently. It does take some precision, though. <laughs> oh, I'm really loving this card right now. Just like that, guys. Watch out for the sneaky boobity bobber. So, as I told you guys, the thing with this lineup is it's balanced. I'm able to play offense and defense, and the cards I have in it are able to do both roles comfortably. There's not many cards that can truly do both roles comfortably. Oh man, Fragman. Oh, the changes they made to this guy. The changes they made to this guy really put him over the top. That's all I'm going to say. And I love it. I see you back there. Why are you hiding? Oh, they finally got me. General Mech came out and finally got the frag, man. We're going to bubble Lucha. And honestly... I'm just going to chase him around a little bit. I'm actually having a lot of fun, and I feel very confident in this lineup's ability to recover, no matter the situation that I am put in. So I don't really feel any pressure or any need to rush a tower. Now, don't get me wrong. Tower rushing is definitely the meta choice. But right now, I have a lineup that can do that, but it can also hang back here and just frag out. Man, this card, this card is something else. Get rid of that tower real quick. Sneak up here. Got him again. Tell you guys what, this card is a something. Yeah, no, you don't want to get in a fight with Fragman at that range. Remember, characters do decrease damage at range. And he's still doing a pretty good number on you. This ain't the card. Ain't the card, buddy. There we go. Nice little frag there. I'm probably going to lose him here due to the general mech slowing down ability. But that's okay. We have Andro on the back line. I could very easily frag him out here, but I don't want to. I'm having so much fun with these cards right now. They're just, like I said, this lineup just flows together, and it's something that I feel confident in playing both ways very, very efficiently. And there's not many cards, honestly, that I would do this way. There's just not. There's just not many cards I'd play that style of play, where I play frag out and don't worry about towers. But the lineup that we have built here is efficient at both. So it allows us to just kind of enjoy the ride. That's one thing that I always like to tell people when frag is take the time. Actually try to frag people. <laughs> but, hey, let's hop into another match and let's see if we can get you guys three wins in one video. Alrighty, guys, we have found our opponent. Cool is his name. And cool is about to face my lineup that I built on a whim. And we're going to see if my lineup is able to do work. I know my lineup can do work. Like I said, Fraggy Man. Fraggy Man. Fraggy Man. This ain't the one, boy. Very important that we hit that alt. Oh, I love this card. I liked this card before he could turn. Like, just to put it into perspective for you guys. Like, it's not just because he's strong right now. It's that I played this card a lot. And it made him very, very interesting and enjoyable. Now that he's actually strong. So, <laughs> I am just, 
I am just having a party right now with this card, guys. We're actually, like I said, this is another time we're not going to worry about pushing him. Um, we're just going to keep focusing on getting the kills and being efficient about it. That's going to be the name of the game today. Oh, she stunned me. The bobber bubble. No! Fall in the pit. Uh, I tried to bump him into the pit. Grab Andrew. <laughs> this is what I mean, guys. You just gotta have fun with it. The thing with your lineup, whenever you build them, you just have to build it to play to your style. And if you can do that, you will be successful no matter where you're playing or what lineup you're trying to win with. And the thing with this lineup is, whenever I built it, I looked at a bunch of things. A bunch of things you guys don't necessarily see. And those things add up is what you're seeing right now. You're seeing cards that are balanced offensively and defensively. What the heck was that? Did you guys see that? What the? Whoa! It's a glitch! We have discovered a glitch, guys! Look! Whee! Get that nice little double frag there off with Fraggy Man. Grab some health. Man, there is a speed glitch right here. There is one million and billion percent a speed glitch every time we get hit. What the heck is going on? I, I don't know what's going on. It's like right here, look. What the heck? It's all directions. Wait, does, is from where does it spawn from? It's from right there. Oh. So it's like crossing the plane of the bunker gives you a speed glitch. Sorry about that, guys. My notifications are off. I don't know why I am still receiving them. Where is he? <laughs> Where's our opponent? There he is. Dude, the speed glitch. That's rough. But anyways, guys, there you go. You have it. How we build a lineup, we focus on the things that are important. Balance cards that can do both offense and defense efficiently. And that is how you win, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and the down there. And I will see you, Legends, in the next <laughs>